Uh, so let's talk about the development of uh, courses, you de uh, some of the courses you developed at Princeton. So mm -hmm. uh, the introduction to programming in Java, which I guess started in 92. Mm -hmm. How was the intro to CS was taught in Princeton before that? Or was it? Uh, it was like exist? many other places. Uh, and the main feature is that uh, at most places is that there's a separate course for every class of students. Mm -hmm. So there was uh, uh, programming for engineers, programming for civil engineers, uh, programming for physicists, uh, mm -hmm. and whatever. So lots and lots of different courses. Uh, and then there was a CS course that uh, taught uh, programming for CS majors. Mm -hmm. uh, and the problem with that approach is that uh, only the CS majors are qualified for a second course. Right. Uh, and that uh, we thought was a huge problem. So uh, that's, uh, the r and there's that, and then there's just uh, the responsibility to put a course out there like introductory physics or chemistry or biology oh, that course. anybody coming to Princeton should be able to take. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was the uh, second part of the challenge. So n at this point, uh, course 126 is a general computer science uh, mm -hmm. is highest enrolled course at Princeton after economics. Right, uh, 40 I, think we, I think we maybe beat them now, but it's pretty but close. Pretty close, <laughs> like 40% of all the students uh, I mean, stats 50. Wise. Fi fi now 50 percent. Yeah. What was the percentage like for uh, algorithms course? 25. 25 percent. So 25 percent of all the Princeton students take this course. What are the, what are the reasons behind the popularity of the uh, two courses? So uh, the, the first one, uh, we uh, tried to appeal to everyone mm -hmm. uh, and we leveraged their knowledge in science. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, most intro CS courses are uh, detailed features of a particular programming language suitable for cubicle dwellers, uh, <laughs> <laughs> where ours is much more uh, interesting uh, uh, problems or situations that uh -huh. one is going to confront in whatever field you go into, and uh, computation as an essential way to address it. So you. Uh, it's very example driven, very... Uh, always uh, no toy problems at all. Uh, whereas most CS courses or uh, intro programming courses are just only toy examples. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, uh, and if you look in a, any book but ours, you won't find the sine function. Right. Because that's considered too difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, high school students know the sine function. Yeah. <laughs> so our first example of an array is uh, sampling the sine function and then piping it into standard audio so you have music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the, all the core, <laughs> so I TA the course uh, mm -hmm. the previous semesters, all the assignments are really exciting. I mean, just make the yeah. just students get really passionate about the subject. There's that, and then there's the, they had no idea of any of the intellectual challenges, and also just demystifying the architecture. So mm -hmm. uh, we build the whole processor from the switch up, and uh, they learn about intractability and computability and all the great ideas of our discipline. Right. Uh, and it's not uh, that big a deal. In physics, they teach quantum, and chemistry, they teach uh, uh, extremely complex and difficult uh, scientific uh, concepts mm -hmm. to first-year students, so why don't we do it? That yeah. was our idea. So you uh, kind of and solving student, it appeals to students. So, mm -hmm. so you solving this problem of like computer science students not knowing much about science and science students not knowing much about CS at the same time. Right, yeah. at the same time. Yeah, computer science students not knowing much about science that was uh, an objection mm -hmm. uh, that we need to have a specialized course for our students. Uh, but but really a lot of computer scientists are kind of lost in abstraction nowadays mm -hmm. uh, and they don't have any idea about the scientific method or mm -hmm. about testing the performance of pro programs mm -hmm. uh, and I think anybody using a computer should know some basic things mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, it's not harmful uh, for them to see uh, how computation is used uh, in big variety of applications